I'm more scared of losing than being hurt. I'll do anything to win. Too often, people don't want to jump in the deep end to see if they can swim. But you don't want to live your life with regret. The pain of regret will hurt so much more than any physical pain or mental pain that you'll go through. Unfortunately, too often people want to take the safe route. You know, things that scare them, they don't want to push through. But when things scare you in life, that's the sweet spot. In fact, I read an incredible study once that before I turned pro, I kid you not, I read this study and it really changed my mind on my opinion. They took a survey of people from all over the world, different ethnicities, different races, uh, even different ages all over the world. The one thing they had in common is they were all dying. Every single one of them was on their deathbed. What they all had in common is they regretted the things they didn't do more than the things they did. Now think about that. You've got all these people sitting there lying on their deathbeds regretting the things they didn't do more than the things they did. I thought to myself right then and there, I'm never gonna be one of those people. Things that scare me in life, opportunities, whether it's something like this or whether it's hopping in a ring on June 8th in front of thousands of people on national TV, I wanna go to bed at night on my deathbed knowing that I went for it and I don't have that pain of regret. I went through periods of depression, was getting anxiety attacks. I had two years of my life in and out of hospitals, out of the ring, not being able to do what I love and it was the lowest point of my life. I learned so much from that. It's incredible when you step back and you realize pain is arguably the best catalyst for change that there is. The amount of pain, physical and mental, that I went through in and out of these hospitals, not only not being able to fight, but just the normal pain, taught me so many things. The first thing it taught me was gratitude. I lived my life every single day grateful because my dream was almost taken away from me. So I would visualize and visualize these moments in my mind and I would visualize my body healing itself. And I know it sounds crazy, but it began to heal me. You know, it, it began to turn my mindset around. And I went from a why me to, okay, these are the cards that are dealt, I'm gonna play them a little bit differently. It took me a long road to get out of those hospitals, get on the right medication, get properly di diagnosed, which took a good two years. But it taught me a lot of those incredible lessons. Um, especially the visualization technique that I'll get into more about what I do inside the ring and out of the ring. Um, but at the end of the day, it, it came down to my mindset. And what I realize, especially now, I'm currently ranked number third in the world. Everybody's talented, everybody's fast, everybody's strong. What separates you is right up here. And I think that applies in business and in life. What separates the good from the great is the mindset. And there's so many people that didn't believe I get to 20 and 0, but I always believed. And there were doctors that looked me in my face and told me that I would never fight again. Where to God, they were sitting right there when that happened. But they didn't know it was in my mind. They weren't cut from the same cloth as me. The best moments in my life have been coming through moments that scared me to death. I fought in Madison Square Garden in front of 20,000 people. I think the difference is I embrace the fear. What I do for every single fight of my life is I close my eyes, and this happens hundreds of times throughout training camp, which is usually six to eight weeks for a fight. I close my eyes and I visualize what that moment is gonna feel like, what it's gonna smell like, what it's gonna sound like, what it's gonna taste like. I think of it in big colors with extreme clarity because you trick your brain, like I mentioned earlier, your brain doesn't know the difference between perception and reality, right? You think about this, people have heart attacks just from stress. There's physical manifestations that happen from what your mind created. Who's to say you can't do the opposite? Who's to say that your mind creates such terrible things that you can't also heal yourself and you can't also put yourself in a position where your body executes what your mind already has? I'm nervous every single time I go into the ring. And that's fine. It's not about not being scared. It's about how you push through.